Hey guys, we are here with this month's design team video for my rubber stamp line. If you don't know already, I have my own line of rubber stamps and I've written a book um, in the last year. And uh, all of them are available in my Etsy shop. The link's in the description below. Uh, the book is also available on Amazon. Now, the difference in the book from me and Amazon is the one from me is a little more expensive. It's on a little bit better paper and it's signed. <laughs> the one from Amazon is a little bit smaller, a little bit lesser quality paper, but still good paper, um, and, but a little cheaper. You can also get it in a Kindle version over at Amazon. And if you just go to Amazon and put my name in the search box, it should come up. All right. But... <sighs> This month we are going to um, work, right now we're gonna work with my stamps. This is the binder that I store my stamps in, um, all of my stamps, and this is an Avery mini binder. Um, and these are Tim Holtz um, uh, stamp pockets that I use. I have a number of stamps in my line that could be used for this month's prompt, which is uh, build on it. Um, it's not a new stamping technique by any stretch of the imagination, um, but you can create some really in interesting cards and embellishments just by layering your rubber stamps. I'm going to show you what I mean. So I have some of these little cards. I've been trying to use them up. These are from an old Zentangling kit. They're about the size of a square coaster, but they're on kind of nice thick cottony paper. I'm going to start out with this set with the paintbrush, and this is set number, let me find out, hang okay. on, as I was saying, I went through and numbered all my sheets because I'm constantly forgetting, and it's not on the label here, because these are the sample sets, so they're not marked which one is which, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to start with set number 11, which is this one with, um, it has some borders and some um, just random sort of mixed media type designs, and we're going to pull out this one here in the middle that has my scribbly writing on it. I need a stamping block. Uh, okay. These are cling mount. They come in unmounted red rubber if you want to save a little money. Um, or you can get them cling mounted like this already cut out on a card. And we are going to start with this one on this sheet. And I'm going to start with, it is Valentine's month. So let's start with a pink color. Make sure it's well inked. And push. Yes, that's good. And let's see. I want two, 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 two. Um, I have, I want to stamp some hearts and I've got a few hearts. I've got this stack of hearts over here in set number seven, um, the Hamsa set. Number nine has a single heart. Um, I have a big, there's a heart here and the, one of the original two sets, number two with the feather, still the most popular one of my rubber stamps. There's a bigger heart there. Let's see. I think we'll go back to stamp set number one. And we will pull this heart out. And I just want to show you some quick, um, easy, simple ways that you can, you know, use your stamps to create an interesting card front, embellishment for a journal page, um, a tag. Um, it is Valentine's Day, so you could create something simple for your Valentine. And I do have the word love in a set, which is in the art doll set number 10. Oh, which has another heart in it, because I have this thing for hearts, so. Let's 
see. I think I want to pull the, oops, these hearts out of this one, which is set number seven, which is the stack. And let's pull out a different color. Let's do this color. This is one of the ones that's loose now. Some of these Studio G stamp pads, I've had them for a million years, and they're kind of a bit past it. up the ink pads all right so you can do something simple like that and create a simple little tag or card that you can stick in your journals and then I have these Crayola metal these are Crayola metallic markers they are um, inexpensive and I think what I want to do is just add a little bit to my stamped heart. There we go, simple, I love it. Now, I wanted to do this because of course it's Valentine's Day month and I wanted to show you something out of the ordinary. Of course, I do have sets that are specifically made for building on, which includes the art doll set. It has been made and designed so that all the pieces and parts fit inside the doll bodies, there's a set of wings, and some of the other sets also fit on here. So. If you're interested in getting any of my stamps, they're all available, of course, in my Etsy shop, which is in the description below. Uh, my design team has some fabulous, unique ideas. All of their videos in the, are in the description below. Go, I encourage you to go check them out. Like, share, and subscribe if you're not already. And don't forget to support my channel if you can by shopping in the Etsy shop. Like, share, and subscribe, like I said. And... The most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Go through your stamp collection, build on the stamps, make some unique designs for Valentine's Day or whatever else is going on in your life or maybe just to have some fun stamping and I will see you later. Bye guys.